Well, isn't it amazing how the rats jump the ship when they believe the ship is sinking? Dory is performing the same act she did when Meghan Markle was only five or six years of age when she drove her to Mr. Markle's home and dropped her on his doorstep because she needed to live life. She needed to explore. She needed to grift. So the mother instinct, it's not well and alive in Doria Raglan. In fact, this woman is incredibly shady and very dangerous. So let's explore all of this here with Doria because she has gone effectively. Is Meghan Markle not paying her enough? Why won't you let me work? Hmm? All you want to do is play and play and play and play. Huh? Hmm. City. Oh. There. Doria Raglan has been behind the hate campaign of the Markles. She has. Very effective. So, because she is the first one. We saw her on the Netflix. Uh, I don't even want to call it a, a, a show, whatever the hell you want to call it, the slander fest, where she said, I'm ready to have my voice heard. <laughs> I told Meg it was going to be about race. I said, and she said, why? And then she goes, just you wait. It is always about race. She turned it up and made it about race because she knew that that's where the money was. She knew that by calling the royal family racist, the United Kingdom racist, they would have an excuse to they thought that they would have a legal excuse, a moral excuse to get out because them racists. But the royal family didn't make it easy for them, did they? Because they gave Mar Mar Rachel Meghan Markle and that skanky Doria stuff that they never given to anybody. No royal bride had gotten so many privileges as Meghan Markle did. Security for Doria, advice for Doria, Doria being flown first class uh, at, the, at the pocket of the royal family. All of it, the allowance, I mean, everything. Meghan Markle didn't even pay for her own wedding gown. It was Charles who paid for it, not Rachel Meghan Markle. And not Rachel Meghan Markle, sorry. No. So Doria is milking the cow, telling Meghan, don't invite your father because this is Doria's moment time to shine. I'm gonna be the only black one there sitting on my own, not even her family because Doria also dislikes her family very much. She wanted, people a lot of times, people have said, oh, it's up to Meghan Markle, but it was actually up to Doria because Doria know, knew that he could actually call the shots there because she knew that Meghan needed her, more, not as a mom, but as a wild card to play against the royal family. Both Meghan and Doria knew that the only positive thing Meghan Markle had to contribute to the royal family and to the United Kingdom was the fact that she was somewhat mixed race. And what did they do? They weaponized that and called the Queen, Charles, and Princess Catherine racist. The entire thing was racist because they were calling Meghan Markle out. They knew that Doria was a grifter. They knew that Doria has been in jail. They knew that Doria was a drug dealer in this, on the set of, of the soap opera that she met Mr. Markle. Tom Bauer has said it in his book. Doria was gone from day one out of Meghan Markle's life, maybe because she saw that Meghan Markle was too much work and only somebody who really loved her would put up with that kind of crap, which turned out to be Mr. Markle. Yes. So Doria diligently drove Meghan Markle to her father's house, to Meghan Markle's father's house, dropped her there, never to see her again until years later. Whether that was because she was in jail or because she just didn't want to see her daughter, my money is on the first one. We know that there's two court cases, two, two judgments. One of them is sealed, the other one is for a minor thing about taxes. So now, Meghan Markle gets engaged to Prince Harry. And we all know because on the Netflix thing, 
Doria said, Megan called me. She says, I'm dating Prince Harry. So they, and she said, oh my God. So they both knew who Prince Harry was. They both knew of the importance of this man's position within the most famous royal family in the world. So those things that Meghan Markle didn't Google Harry, my ass, my ass. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's true. By the way, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. And please follow me on Facebook. After this, I'm gonna do a little live on Facebook. So hopefully you can join me there. So yeah, so Prince Harry, who's an idiot, who's an entitled arrogant idiot, was brainwashed by Meghan Markle and her mom into believing that Meghan Markle finally was going to get with his family the family that she never had to Mr. Markle's surprise because actually Meghan Markle had an extensive family on both sides of the set of parents that she had. The Raglans, we've seen that from Sean Johnson who said that they had, used to have a lovely time. They used to vacation all together. But that's not good enough for Doria. So as soon as Meghan hits the jackpot and marries Harry, we see a shift. Doria pushing for Meghan to go as quickly as back as California as possible. Because in their minds, that's where the money is. Now that Meghan Markle has managed to secure a title. So what do they do? They deploy their tactic, their plan, which is to trash and destroy everything on their way out and people are too afraid to call them out because of that race card so they have weaponized effectively the race card which is absolutely disgusting it's actually quite illegal in the united kingdom so they managed to take off they think they've secured millions of dollars with netflix spotify i mean the books and this and that they no longer need the, 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 the royal family because in their minds, Doria is riding a high wave. She's surfing, she's living La Vida Loca, something that she never thought she would. They buy mansions, they start trashing, they go on Oprah. They start doing their circles around trashing everybody, all instigated by Doria. And of course, Meghan Markle going along with it because of course they think that this is gonna work. This is why they take Doria goes with Meghan Markle to the NAACP. I mean, that is shameful. Of course, with Harry, but they go Mama Doria. In New York with that shameful fake car chase. Disgusting, disgusting. Because they're branding Doria once in a while. They take her out to remind people that they shouldn't be nasty towards Meghan Markle. But what's happened now? Because Doria, above all, is a grifter. Doria is not a mother. Doria is for Doria. So now she's seeing that things are, didn't turn out quite the way they thought they would because they overplayed their hand, especially Doria. That, C, that she's a CEO and CFO of, <laughs> of the living wellness or whatever you wanna call that only cash uh, assisted elderly living thing that's only online. It's not working out, is it? The IRS is breathing down their necks. And if Doria has been to jail for five or six years, she doesn't want to go back there. And the royal family are not going to help her out with this because the IRS always takes them down. And Meghan's Markle is not popular anymore, no matter what Doria does. Doria does not like this because as a good grifter, she knows she has to work from behind the scenes in the darkness so she doesn't get caught. This is too much of high profile and it's too much grief for her and it's not worth it. It's not worth it for her. So now she used to, she had actually indeed moved to the Montecito mansion. Now she's out. She's out and wants nothing to do with Meghan Markle for the time, for the time being, because of course, as a good grifter, Doria's like a flag. She goes with the wind. She got paid a six-figure sum to be in the Netflix documentary. It wasn't for free. So, and yet Meghan Markle is calling out her father because he got paid a few thousand bucks for some pictures that were taken off himself. Well, Doria goes on Netflix on a worldwide platform and lied through her teeth about being Meghan Markle's, uh, about being single mother with Meghan Markle when this woman knew she wasn't around. And she's sitting there smugly that former prisoner, that con artist, sitting smugly on Netflix, 
feeling or thinking she is uh, untouchable, but not anymore because things are not going well, especially if Donald Trump wins. And right now, Harry, Harry with the Heritage Foundation, most likely those records will be made public. And Samantha Markle is appealing the decision. She can appeal that decision. You can always appeal it. We'll see if the appeal goes through, but she is appealing it. And the popularity things. Now, Meghan Markle did not become the princess of Hollywood. She became the laughing stock of Hollywood and Doria right along with it. And the millions that they thought were going to get, they're not getting them. And oh, Doria doesn't like that. So what does Doria do? Do you think that she thought of her grandkids? Of course not. Doria is thinking of Doria. Doria is thinking of Doria. And she knows, even she knows that Meghan Markle's lies are catching up with her. And even she knows that Doria appearing with Meghan will not detract people from calling them liars and grifter anymore. What a terrible mother it is. What a terrible example she is for those children who are in Montecito, absolutely kidnapped, isolated, being horribly manipulated. Children Protective Services most definitely should be called because keeping children isolated from their families is not legal. And Doria Raglan is really not a good role model because if it's true that she was a drug dealer, we've seen that. Who's providing Harry with all the drugs that he goes about boasting about in his books? And if Harry gets kicked out of the country, we know he'll get custody of the children because there's no way in hell that the royal family are going to allow those kids to be with Meghan Markle. But what a terrible role model Doria Raglan is. What a terrible, terrible situation for those children to find themselves in with, you know, there's nothing they can do until somebody interferes. But Doria Raglan has been behind this hate campaign with Meghan, of course, and brainwashing that idiot of Harry, keeping him drugged so he can't see reality. Because you see, when you become, when you start getting out of an addiction and you are, you start seeing clearly and he might, Harry might not, like, might not like what he sees. So what is Doria going to do now? Because Meghan Markle's brand is down to shit. She's doing some fairs in Texas. She's not doing A-list Hollywood movies anywhere. She wasn't invited to the Oscars. All she can do is hang around with the likes of former, former A-listers who are now like celebrity at best. Which is not what Doria had in mind. Please leave me your comments because how is how much of danger are those kids in? How much was Doria charging Meghan Markle to be her black card? Her black, half black race card because also Doria is mixed race. She's not 100% black. Please leave me your comments, beautiful people.